dear students. Welcome to our online English school. The topic of today's lesson is first conditional. Today we will revise the material from the previous lesson. Last lesson you learned how to use the future form will to make predictions. You will also learn how to use the first conditional when talking about the future situations. And you will practice listening today. Are you ready? Let's start our lesson. First, we will revise what we learned last lesson. Listen to the instructions, please. What job do you think he'll do? Read the skills and complete the predictions. Look at this picture, please. I will read the professions and you repeat after me, please. Doctor, engineer, lawyer, teacher, builder, artist, banker, mechanic, accountant. Lawyer is someone whose job is to give advice to people about the law and speak for them in court. Banker is someone with an important position in a bank. Mechanic is someone whose job is repairing the engines of vehicles and other machines. Now you have some time to read the sentences. Are you ready? Let's start. He likes maths and he's very accurate. I think he will be an... Which profession? Right, accountant. Next sentence. He loves cars, working with his hands and making things work. I think he will be a... It's a new word from today's lesson. Mechanic. Very good. Next sentence. He's creative. He loves painting and drawing. I think he'll be an... Right. Artist. Next sentence. He's good at building things and he admires architecture. I think he'll be... Right. A builder. Next. He's good at maths and he likes making money. I think he'll be a banker. Next sentence. He's good at science and he likes looking after people. I think he'll be a... Right. Doctor. He's good at science and he likes learning how to make things work. I think he'll be an... Right. Engineer. Very good. Next sentence. He's interested in rules and the law and he can remember facts. I think he'll be a... Right. Lawyer. And last sentence. He's patient and organized. And he likes explaining things to people. I think he'll be a... Right. Teacher. Very good. Now let's check the answers. Excellent. Please pay attention here to the use of will to make predictions. Listen to the instructions, please. Read and match the parts of the sentences. Why do you study? Now you have some time to read the parts of the sentences. Mm -hmm. 
Now, let's match the halves of the sentences. William wants to know what she's studying. Emma is happily studying for her exams. Very good. Next sentence. If she doesn't study, she won't pass her exams. Emma is angry with William because she wants to study for her exams. William wants her to do something more interesting. She is studying because she wants to pass her exams. Now let's check the answers. Very good. Now you will watch a video about Emma and William. First, listen to the instructions, please. Listen and watch. Then answer the questions. Before watching the video, you have some time to read the questions. Let's watch the video. Why are you always studying, Emma? Come and do something more interesting. I need to study while I'm at school, William, because I need to pass my exams at school so that I can go to uni and get a good degree. OK, but what will you do if you get a good degree? I hope that if I can get a good degree, I can get a good job and earn lots of money. What will you do if you earn lots of money? If I earn lots of money, I'll save it up because I want to buy my dream home. So, if you work hard at school and pass your exams, you'll go to university and get a degree. And if you get a good degree, you'll get a good job so that you can save up enough money to buy a house. Is that right? Yes. That's right, William. But isn't that a bit boring? No, it's forward planning. I'll work for my dream job so I can buy my dream house and travel the world. Now, I'd better go and study if I want to pass my exams. You need to study too, or you'll end up bored working in a fast food restaurant. Hmm, maybe you're right. Now, let's answer the questions. What does Emma want to do at school? She wants to get a degree, pass her exams, pass her degree, go to university. Right, she wants to pass her exams. Next question. What will she do when she passes her school exams? She'll get a job and a house, have a holiday, buy a house, go to university. Right. She'll go to university. What does she want to do at university? She wants to get a house, get a boyfriend, get a job, get a degree. What is the correct option? Right. She wants to get a degree. Next question. What will help her get a good job? Her friends will help her get a job. Selling her house will help her get a job. Having a good degree will help her get a job. Buying a house will help her get a job. What is the correct option? Right. Having a good degree will help her get a job. What does she want to buy if she earns enough money? She'll buy a small house, buy a flat, Buy her dream home, buy a car. Right, she'll buy her dream home. And last question. What does Emma think will happen if William doesn't study for his exams? If he doesn't study for his exams, he'll find an exciting job working in a fast food restaurant. He won't find a job. 
He won't go to university. He'll be bored working in a fast food restaurant. What will happen to William? Right. He'll be bored working in a fast food restaurant. Let's check the answers. Excellent. Now I will explain to you first conditional. We use the first conditional when we talk about possible situations. Each first conditional sentence contains two clauses. If plus present simple and will plus infinitive. For example, if I pass my exams, I will be happy. Please pay attention that in the if clause, if I pass my exams, I pass. The verb is in present simple. Main clause. I will be happy. Will plus infinitive. We may also use this form. Will plus infinitive and if plus present simple. I'll be happy if I pass my exams. It doesn't matter which clause you use first. But please pay attention. If you use first if clause, then main clause, then after if clause you should put a comma. If I pass my exams, comma, I'll be happy. I'll be happy if I pass my exams. No comma here. Now, listen to the instructions, please. Listen and put the first conditional sentences in order. Now let's listen and then put the first conditional sentences in order. Why are you always studying, Emma? Come and do something more interesting. I need to study while I'm at school, William, because I need to pass my exams at school so that I can go to uni and get a good degree. OK, but what will you do if you get a good degree? I hope that if I can get a good degree, I can get a good job and earn lots of money. What will you do if you earn lots of money? If I earn lots of money, I'll save it up because I want to buy my dream home. So, if you work hard at school and pass your exams, you'll go to university and get a degree. And if you get a good degree, you'll get a good job so that you can save up enough money to buy a house. Is that right? Yes, that's right, William. But isn't that a bit boring? No, it's forward planning. I'll work for my dream job so I can buy my dream house and travel the world. Now, I'd better go and study if I want to pass my exams. You need to study too, or you'll end up bored working in a fast food restaurant. Hmm, maybe you're right. Now, let's put the first conditional sentences in order. What is the first sentence? Right. If she works hard at school, she'll pass her exams. What is the second sentence? Very good. If she passes her exams, she'll go to university. Next sentence. If she studies hard at university, she'll get a good degree. What is the fourth sentence? Very good. If she gets a good degree, she'll get a good job. Next sentence. Very good. If she gets a good job, she'll earn lots of money. And last sentence. If she earns lots of money, she'll buy a dream house. Let's check. Very good. Well done. Today you did an excellent job. You revised the use of the future form will to make predictions and you also learned how to use the first conditional when we talk about possible situations. At home I ask you to make sentences with the first conditional to talk about your future. The lesson is over. See you next time. Goodbye.